think her body stress release came about. Well, it is in fact the history of one man's journey from debilitating pain and limitation back to a state of well-being. Yes, how that came about was I climbed up into a tree and happened to fall out of it, landed flat on my back, um, was unconscious for a week. And then the fun and games started after regaining consciousness. First of all, I had a lot of pains in my lower legs. Um, for a while that was supposedly growing pains. At a later stage, that was put down to the fact that being the firstborn, I was just being an attention seeker. Then at a later stage, interestingly enough, it was changed to all being psychosomatic. Because by by that stage in my teenage years, I had stiffened up to the point where I couldn't even reach my own kneecaps bending forwards. So, but when I was told, I said earlier, it's psychosomatic, I must merely learn to relax. Well, the more, interestingly enough, the more I tried to relax, the worse the situation became. And that was absolutely confusing because I couldn't understand why if you try and relax things get worse. Stiffer, more pain and also all the cramping calves and feet and oh the list could go on forever of the things that are happening. So then what happened was nothing could be done for me and later on in, in my early 30s um, total chaos and shock and horror actually when I woke that first morning um, temporarily paralyzed from the waist down and the reason I say temporary, temporarily paralyzed is because I dragged myself out of the bed across the floor uh, to the wardrobe doors and pulled myself up on them and I just kept repeating that exercise, that movement, until my legs appeared somewhere to support me. And that would happen maybe once a month or so. But then suddenly the whole process started accelerating where I tend to wake like that two to three times a week. And that was the turning point of saying, well, now something has to be done. And that's how we ended up going to the United States jail and I went down to study chiropractic, but then when we returned to South Africa, we, through working together on clients, using a totally different approach from chiropractic, we started discovering how the body automatically protects itself in a highly organized way, and by keeping meticulous records of exactly what we did in reviewing the record cards we began to see an interconnectedness appearing and it was interesting to see how this was applicable to all the clients who were coming to us. Now, BSR is the outcome of all our personal research over I think 11 years working together and keeping very detailed notes on all our findings. Well Going back to the history, round about 1987, we decided to leave the chiropractic profession because what we did was so very different. We devolved a whole new way of looking at it. So we left the profession and we launched a whole new discipline called body stress release. We called it that because it's a very nice, simple term explaining what we do. And then people started approaching us, asking us if we would train them in this new discipline. And we started in a very small way. Every second year we do a small class. But it became like an avalanche. <laughs> and um, eventually we were training, we launched the BSR Academy and we were training people from all over the world. Um, I think to date we've trained practitioners from about 17 different countries. 